Hello from Helsinki, Eastern Helsinki. I'm here in Wasare and I wanted to share a few thoughts regarding the new coalition government's program that was presented last Friday. You've seen already yesterday, there's been over 300 of people who demonstrated against the new government immigration policy changes. There's been much more restrictions rather than improvements to the immigration, which already has been discussed during Sanna Marin's government last four years. And already on LinkedIn, for sure, you've heard, you've been also sharing frustrations and concerns. How is it going to be to work in Finland, especially when you have ethnic background or you have families or you are international like me? For me, it has been a traumatic uh, memory uh, ride because I've come here from Denmark and I've tried all these different legislation changes from 2002 to 2015. And I can only say that um, there's great, um, you know, geopolitical events, uh, world events that can shake the government for the worse or for the better. And I hope that, uh, you know, now the post-COVID, uh, including the war in Ukraine, it also affects with all the uncertainties and throwing people overboard, thinking of their money, of in uh, increased poverty and not ability to pay debts. Both in Denmark and Finland, we've, we've seen that, you know, immigrants are scapegoated and it's a world phenomenon. Uh, I also want to bring out the, the issues that I've been working with when it comes to inclusion, belonging, all these values where we all promote that talent does not have a nationality or carries a specific passport. Uh, here, just the same week last week, I, I was keynote speaking and giving shared a story to this pamphlet, Finland, a country of not belonging, which is done in collaboration with two professional unions for a change, uh, tech and uh, economic med, where there's 14 stories uh, sharing their experiences of how is it to work in Finland and what improvements could be done and the stories shared by internationals themselves. Also, in a previous project, I've been promoting the value of collaboration, cross-sectoral collaboration. This is in Kusamo, where we're here with Indian and Philippine, Filipino nurse who just arrived to Kusamo and asking for better access to reunite with their families in order to come and stay and work in Finland permanently. The cross-sectoral collaboration is nothing new, and that's why I want to reach out with this message to Talent Boost community, I've been with you from the start in 2018, and even if it's not perfect and got criticism from all sorts of sectors, I think the, the narrative we try to shape has been strong across Finland. And to my surprise still, not many companies, employers, know what are the benefits of diversity, equity, inclusion, and the multicultural teams, what does it bring to their revenues? I also want to reach out to as international, uh, be your spouse, student, um, having a refugee background or whatever professional background you carry, that I have been in your shoes and this is the time to stay connected, especially during summer, to be able to reach out to someone local or someone else who can share your story and listen to your story. And do reach out to me as well, because I'm sure we're gonna pull this through together as long as we're not alone with these feelings of being unwanted and unneeded in society. My mentor in Denmark, I'm grateful to her because she opened the Danish society where I felt exactly like many of you will feel, uh, what's the point of being here if I'm asked to leave three months after of looking for a job? And this is um, absolutely irresponsible use of money and uh, changing all the money that's been put into actually integration of internationals here. And lastly, I want to reach out to you as employers, whoever you are, public, private, nonprofit, there's been a lot discussed why we should hire the first international. And if you already have internationals, do take a stand. It's the stand, your allyship that matters because people like me, we don't even have right to vote, not voting rights to vote this agenda going forward. We have the momentum at the moment to turn in towards each other and say, yes, talents do not have nationality or passport and we want the fin Finland to grow as a Finnish, like Finland, Finnish future is global and inclusive. Uh, I do hope for young people who will be there 
they are already making change and active, being activists and also demanding workplaces to change for the better, be more responsible, be more ethical. And as well as uh, all the people who volunteer, that they, there are people who building sense of belonging without asking anything in return. And these are different communities, different NGOs that are running pro bono events. I'm also grateful for that to you. So do company, as a company employer, do reach out for these communities that are giving, giving, giving that sense of belonging and want people to stay here in the country. Give them the support, the financial support that they need. And, and if you want to read more, I'll read the, the, I'll share the link here. If you need to use the arguments, the, the whole government program right now is um, irresponsible because it ignores uh, the whole program towards immigration is irresponsible because it ignores the recommendation based on research such as ETLA, the research of e, uh, ECOX Tutkemos, the research made by AmCham and Invest in Finland, uh, MDI and, and whatnot. And, and this is not to say that uh, the talent shortage is the only critical weakness of Finnish society. The, only, the other thing is actually being able to uh, integrate and work with uh, in multicultural teams and employees. So we need to work together. One thing for sure is taking a stand, being an ally and making sure that you as an international or a local get your voices heard and sign one of the petitions that are running here. And I'll share it with you.